good morning students in the previous video session we have uh, derived uh, the potential gravitational potential energy of any object which is near by the surface of the earth the u is equal to mgh and i told you to do as your homework practice as your homework i will ask you tomorrow how many of uh, next interactive session i will ask you how many of you did your work so <coughs> it is very important you have to practice all this derivation then only you will remember now you see <coughs> next thing is variation of g with the altitude in the last video session we have found that g is equal to g is equal to g m by r e square g m a by r e square this is what uh, in the previous video session we have found gravitation acceleration d2 gravity g is equal to g m a by r e square this is our general expression for gravitation gravity now what will happen if this g changes if the g variation of g with the altitude what will happen to this g if the object is lifted to certain height that is what with the altitude let us see whether any variation is there or not so for that you see you can consider uh, earth uh, and uh, from this point uh, from the center of the earth you are lifted the mass at a height of uh, x you are lifting a mass at the height of h and uh, this radius is what the r e so what is this total distance means you can write r e plus h so from this height uh, this much altitude uh, you have lifted a uh, what a uh, as height of h you are moving a mass from the center of the earth to a height of h uh, now we have to find out the equation for g that is what variation of g with the altitude let us see what will happen you know this thing g is equal to g m e by r e square so based on this you can write now uh, g is equal to g m by g m by what uh, instead of r e r e plus h is you can take equation what now you know this thing height uh, you are lifted the object is very much less than the radius of the earth so what you can do is you can rewrite this equation while taking after taking this r e outside now so g is equal to g m by take this r e outside now r e here what is remaining 1 plus h divided by r e then square now here the power value is 2 now take this equation take this whole part of upside so g is equal to g m by r e then what up this you take upside of 1 plus h by r square now i got that <coughs> we know that now here r is square we have to take off now you see 1 plus h by r e the whole square now as we did before as we did before using binomial expression binomial expression so what you have to do means 
The same thing we have to use before we wrote the 1 plus h by r e power square means just 1 plus x power here you can write the equal to 1 plus n x. It means we are just writing this n here. So here 2 is there you just write a this place. So that is what we are going to do. So what will come means g is equal to g m by r e square into 1 plus this 2 you write here 2 h by r e. So now we know that g m by r e square means what are g. So you can write now g dash is equal to this is g into 1 plus 2 h by r e. So here I am not able to put g dash because just to show the variation we are using g dash. So what we got to mean g dash is equal to g into 1 plus 2 h by r e. It shows g dash is less than g. So if the altitude increases, altitude increases variation of value of acceleration due to gravity g decreases. That is what of this relation, this relation shows. As this value of this altitude, if you increases this height, if you increases this height, what will happen means this gravity value will, gravity value will change, decreases. So, you can write the last point now. Uh, g dash is less than g. It means what? Altitude h increases, acceleration due to gravity decreases. If you want to check, you can give some values and check it out. So, you will find this. So, this is for variation of g with the altitude. We know there is nothing from the surface of the earth we are lifting an object at a height h. For that we are finding whether any variation is there or not in the g value. That is what this derivation. This is one of the important three mark question. Now three derivation, two derivations are there. Variation of g with altitude, variation of g with depth. This is important, very very important three mark question. You can mark it as very very important. And the next one, variation of g with depth. It is also very very important five mark question. So here you see, we know that the general expression for gravity is g is equal to g m e by r e square. Just showing the variation of the g dash we are using, g dash is equal to g m by r e plus h. r e plus h means what? All? From this surface of the earth, we are lifting the mass at the height of h. So, r e plus this height. That is what r e plus h square. And you know this h is very much less than r e. So, you have to take this r e outside of the square. So, r e square when you are taking outside, if you have 1 and now, here you will get what? Are? h by r e. Now, what will come means this g is equal to this gm by r e square is here and uh, this 1 plus h by r e square you have to take it upside down. So, what will come means when you are taking this here it will come minus and here also it will come what now? Minus. Here also minus. Now, this minus 2 is here. To neglect this minus 2 we are using what now? Binomial expression, just you are writing the power value nearby this term. So here minus 2, I am writing here. Now next step, gm by r e square means what? Of g. So I am writing this g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h by r. This is the equation. We have found finally you have to write the g dash is less than g and uh, what are if 
altitude increase what will happen height increases acceleration due to gravity will decrease always near by the surface of the earth this gravity value is what the permanence and the height increase gravity decrease okay now the next derivation this is in page number 19 variation of g with altitude you can mark a very very important question and uh, long answer question number uh, long answer question number 8 explain the variation of g with altitude question number 9 next question explain the variation of g with depth so variation of g with depth let us see here g with depth so here here also we know that the same thing general expression g is equal to what the g m a by r d square a gravity value is g is equal to g m a by r square this also one of the very very important the five mark question now you see how to find this you can consider a mining okay you know in navel and or coal mining is happening so you can consider a mining this is a earth earth its a radius is r a radius is r a radius of this earth is what the r a r okay r now you are mining this much the distance already mining happen mining is done so now this is the new earth so this this is radius r and this much distance you have did mining so what will happen means here the mass will be different the this earth mass will be different the and the after mining this mass will be different so now the radius is this radius is what the r minus d r this total is r total distance total radius of the earth is what the r and the mining is done at the distance of d so now for this new earth you can tell the radius is r minus so now you are after mining now it is inside the mass is inside here now you can find out whether any variation is there in g or not this is what now so we know that the g value is gme by r is square and here for this variation you can write g dash is equal to g m dash by R means here R minus D, so R minus D. The whole square. This you can keep it as equation one. Now what you have to do means you have to find out this mass. What is the mass of this new part? What is the mass of this new part? For that we have to you see. mass can vary but density will not change so you can use the density formula to find out the new mass m dash new mass m dash for that the uh, density is equal to mass per volume this is this is what the density formula for our earth m by v and for new earth we can write that same density m dash by d dash density of density will not change uh. so density is equal to mass per volume and for the newer after mining for this new earth uh, 
the capital what are density is equal to mass dash per volume dash now compare this to compare this two equation so you can write down m dash by v dash equal to m by v we need to find out this m dash keep it in mind we need to find out this m dash new mass so from here m dash is equal to m by v into v dash what is the volume of earth this a circle sphere so you know that what of 4 by 3 pi r square so volume of the earth m dash is equal to m by volume of the earth 4 by 3 pi r cube this is radius of the earth and this is for new new mass new volume so 4 by 3 pi r e minus d the whole cube 4 by 3 4 by 3 cancel 5 pi cancel remaining is what are m dash is equal to m dash is equal to m by r e cube into what are into r e minus d whole cube this you can be equation 2 now substitute of equation 2 in 1 substitute equation 2 in 1 equation 1 so instead of this m dash you have to substitute this one so g dash is equal to g by r e minus d the whole square in the instead of m dash substitute this m by r e cube in the r e minus d the whole cube cancel this r e minus d square here 2 will cancel only is remaining now g dash is equal to g m by r e cube into r e minus d now we know that uh, g means g m by r e square so here r e cube is there we have to cancel one r e for that what we have to do means from here take r e outside so g dash is equal to g m by r e cube here take one r e outside r e into 1 minus d by r e now cancel this r e here 1 remaining 2 now g is equal to g dash equal to g m by r e square into 1 minus d by r e what is this g m by r e square g so g dash is equal to g instead of this g into 1 minus d by r e <coughs> this is what the a new equation and based on this exercise and given what are here this equation shows that here also it is less d by r e so g dash is less than g so here also saying that here also there is a variation what are based on this if altitude changes height increases acceleration due to gravity decrease height decreases also depth change also gravity value change 
So only in the surface of the earth, that is what here, last point given, you can see in the page number 20, variation of the G with the depth of. So acceleration due to is maximum on the surface of the earth, but decreases. Here also decreased. There also decreased. There what do you go to 1 minus 2H by RE. So decreased. When we come by, when we come by this G value in the surface of the earth. So again remember this. This is a basic expression for that term. For this variation of G with the depth means you have to remember the mining. Digging the earth and going inside. And uh, two mass, our earth mass is different and uh, after digging inside uh, it is different mass. So here we are writing this equation in terms of variation G dash is equal to G M dash by M dash means mass also changed. M dash means mass also change R A minus B square. Now this is you can keep it as equation now. You have to find out this new mass. For that you can take the density formula because density will not change. Uh. Density of the earth is mass per volume and for the new thing also what uh, new part of the earth is also mass per volume. But mass is different, the volume is different. Now we can compare these two equation mass dash by volume dash is equal to mass per volume. From this, you have to keep it in mind we are finding m dash. So m by v into v dash we will get a v means volume of the earth, v dash means what the volume of the new part. So volume of the earth is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Here what the, the distance is r e r e cube. And uh, here the radius is what for the new one is R minus D the whole Four by three, four by three cancel, pi pi cancel, remaining M by R cube into R minus D cube. Now substitute this equation two. You can keep it as equation two. This you have to substitute in equation one in terms of this M dash. Now while substituting what you will get now? R minus D square, R minus D cube. Here 2 to cancel, remaining 1 will be here. Then Gm by Re cube into Re minus B will come. From here, we know that uh, G value is Gm by Re square. So take this Re outside. Uh, so Gm by Re cube here. We have taken Re outside. Uh, when we are taking this Re outside, we have 1 minus B by Re will come. Then cancel this Re. We will get equation instead of this gm by r square, we write down g and write the size term. What are altitude increases? Altitude, what are altitude changes? Variation of g with depth also, its value, g value decreases. Only on the surface of the earth, g value will be maximum. My dear students, it is one of the very very important five mark question you have to practice from page number 20 and the variation of G with altitude is one of the important the three mark question. Practice these two questions. Both questions are very very important in this unit and thank you all. Bye bye. See you all.